Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. It is 1017 a.m. Central Daylight Time. You might hear some noise in the background. I got three grandkids here today. It is May 31st, 2023, and the current temperature there at Yellowstone, supposedly as of 9 a.m. their time, um, is 40 degrees, and it's supposed to be a high of 58 degrees, and tomorrow, some rain. Yeah, a little steamy, um, and a little chilly. Uh, USGS is reporting a magnitude 2.2 earthquake earlier today. It was by Joseph Cote. Let me show you using Google Earth the location of that 2.2. Originally, they had it as a magnitude 2.3. And I'll bring this out. I did download uh, the monitor for Joseph Cote. All right, so here's the location of the 2.3 up over here. This is Yellowstone Lake. Over here, we have the Madison River and Hedgen Lake. Four monitors I downloaded. Borehole 208 there at Yellowstone Lake on the left. This is Joseph Coat. Uh, Little West Thumb. Yeah, it's been really active. Look at all this. We'll cover that in a minute. And the Western Boundary, which is down by the Western Entrance. Here's that earthquake. It came in as a magnitude 2.28. Those of you that might have larger screens you might be watching it on such as uh, maybe a computer or um, your television you can see at the bottom 2.28 and there's a line of melt right there hot water and gases came up with this earthquake pretty busy there today yeah you can see how it's really active yeah i got two seven year olds old and uh, a 13 year old here today so the two are probably going to be a little noisy I uh, wonder what's going on. They got a little sign here on the boardwalk. Some kind of warning sign. I don't know what that is for. But everyone is huddled around over here looking down. Uh, maybe it's a new thermal feature. Yeah. Interesting. Looks like they moved the camera again. Yeah, look how active that is there today. Yeah. I want to show you what's going on with Little West Thumb. All right, let's go through this. Look at all the quakes marked out in red, meaning it was picked up by uh, the computer. Yeah, bam, bam, bam. Now, as you know, West Thumb is a caldera in its own sense. Um, it erupted... What, how long ago? Let me look. 150,000 years ago, it was a volcanic eruption index of six, and it was 11 times greater than the eruption in 1883 of Krakatoa. And I believe I covered this in my last uh, video. So this is West Thumb. I call it Little West Thumb. We have a lot of small ponds. Um, over here, small little bodies of water that were created by hydrothermal eruptions. And there is a fault line off over here on the right towards the east, multiple fault lines um, on the west. And as you know, over here, which isn't drawn out anymore, I got to update this. There is a fault line going from the um, fishing bridge. Um, going through here by Frank Island, extending all the way down in this area. And there's areas of um, extreme heat at the bottom of the lake from hydrothermal vents. But there is this crack going through here uh, where the magma that's underneath the lake is trying to come up. There's also another area over here where they have uplift. And I got to redraw that out. Those of you that follow me know that Google Earth and all my notes um, got lost for some weird reason. So this is West Thumb. And this is all the activity that it was showing yesterday. Lots and lots 
of earthquakes cracking as the ground gets more brittle. Yeah, the faults open up and the uh, hot water and the magma um, comes up. So, yeah, this is like, wow. Okay. So let's come down to what it was showing when I pulled the files this morning. Not too bad. Let's pull it over. It settled down a little bit. But as you know, um, Yellowstone and any volcano could erupt within 10 minutes with no warning whatsoever. Okay, and let's close this out. See what else we got. We got some more popping over here. Um, that was 10.50 Universal Time. 7.04 a.m. Central Daylight Time. We got a small quake here. And more there. Okay. We got this one right here at 2058 Universal. So that would have been at 358 p.m. yesterday. And like I said, all this occurred. This was going on yesterday when they had all these um, smaller earthquakes. Yeah. All right. So we'll go back to this small earthquake. Bring it down. It comes in as a magnitude 1.75. Here we have the western boundary. Let me close this out. Yeah, we got drum beats going on. Steady beating. Oh, my goodness. And I've covered this area quite a bit recently. Um, 2338 is this time right here. This would have been yesterday also. 738 p.m. Uh, last night. Yeah, lots of drum beats. Yeah, it's kind of like um, a hose when you kink down a hose. And then you open it and close it and open it and close it. And th But this is magma. This is when the magma was coming in at the western boundary. Oh, and it went quiet right there. We had screaming right there. Where is that? Right right there let's look at the seismic signature now this is when the magma comes in so fast that the equipment cannot pick it up and I can't remember if I've ever seen it there at the Western Boundary I may have but it's so loud that the equipment cannot pick up the seismic signature so yeah it's like going quite I've talked about this before kind of like a, a teapot where the whistle gets louder and louder and louder as the water gets hotter and hotter. Oh, and then we got another one right there. Oops. Where'd it go? Right there. Okay. Um, 345 right there. Or 2346. Excuse me. So that would have been 646 p.m. yesterday. Yeah. Okay. Let's bring it over some more. Okay. Oh, and then look at the magma. Look at the heat that came in. Let's take a look at, you know, the popping of the ground. Pressure building. I've talked about this. How, yeah, the pressure builds, pushes up on the ground. It's kind of like glass. How, yeah, bam. Okay, let's go back to the seismic signature. Pull it over a little bit more. A little concerning. More screaming. Yep. Yep. Uh, 2349, 6.49 p.m. last night. Yep, and more screaming there. Um, uh, 6.51. Oh, and another one. Um, 6, 6.51 and 45 seconds. Yeah, I'm going to show you where the western boundary is at. All right, I added the roads so you can get an idea. Here we have Hedge and Lake. This is the western entrance. And the monitor is up in this area. Yeah. And there's the uh, entrance to Yellowstone. Remember, oh, how many months ago it was, where there was buffalo that was exiting the park. And they got hit by three different trucks here on 191 about 13 of them were killed or they had to be euthanized as they they crossed the road 
and it was up over here somewhere where they were killed. All right, let's bring it over some more, see what we got. You can see the line of melt. And as I've talked about before, um, there is areas, pockets of melt, because not all rock melts at the same temperature. Only about 600 feet below the ground where people are walking. I'll give you an idea. A football field is, what, 350 feet in length. So less than two football fields. There is areas of melt. Yeah, let's go down over here. Okay, and let's go here. Yeah, got magma coming in. Let's check out the seismic signature. I'll have to make that bigger for you. Yeah, yeah, fault movement. Okay, and this is what let me pull it down. What was showing when I pulled the files this morning? Yeah, line of melt. You can see the heat down here. So we got one, two, three lines of melt. When I talk about lines of melt, what it is is where you got a crack. And, or you can consider it like a dike intrusion. So the magma comes up through those little cracks, the dikes, and then flows up and goes horizontal. And this is what it was showing when I just pulled it earlier today. Okay. And. Yeah, very, there's a small quake there. Let's look at the signature. Yeah, it looks like all fault movement. Yep. Okay, what else? All right, so this here, I believe, is the magnitude 2.2 .2 that they are reporting. We have another one right here at 1059. So that would have been at 559 a.m. today. All right, so they only have two earthquakes and within the last 24 hours. I was wrong. Yeah, that's a 2.3, not a 2.2. .2, but I come with, up with a magnitude 2.2. .2. And then yesterday, a 1.1. Um, now, when it's minus, like this one here, minus 0 0.6, that means it's above sea level. Okay, earth, all earthquakes are measured from sea level. Now, this one is 3.4 miles below sea level. So, this one comes in as a magnitude 1.49. It actually might be a little bit smaller. And there is a seismic signature. And this is borehole 208, which is the monitor for the fishing bridge where Yellowstone Lake drains out into the Yellowstone River. All right, yeah, let's just take a look at the seismic signature. Yeah. And let's go up to where, yeah, this is where all that activity was going on. Hard to see if there's any screaming. I don't see any over here. I'll just pull it up a little bit. Let's see. We'll just go across. All right. So something going on. They got little orange cones marked out. Got the, the uh, boardwalk blocked off. Um, yeah, lots of people gathered around. I'm not sure what. Let me see if I can find out which geyser, which hot pole this might be. I hope they move the camera. Yeah, closing it off is kind of interesting. Going to make it a longer trek for those that maybe just went over on the one side and decided to come back the same direction. Yeah, and this is an area, oh, three years ago maybe, where there was a new eruption, and it was closed off then, and it had damaged the boardwalk back then when it started its new eruption yeah interesting here we got some people coming down and guess what you're not going to be able to go through maybe all right i did find what the name of it is it's unng ghd 17 geyser and it started its eruption today and it's splashing uh, extremely hot water 
onto the boardwalk. They may expand the closure of the boardwalk there. And let's see when it first became active. Let's go back here. Um, 2018 is the listing here. So I was way off. That was five years ago that it started erupting. Yeah, it's been quiet. That geyser has been quiet since um, 2018 when it first erupted and they had to repair the boardwalk. And then yesterday, um, the 30th, it decided it was going to start going off and it was erupting um, every hour to three hours to eight hours. Yeah. Yep, getting more active like I showed you yesterday. Um, how, yeah, the um, uh, West Thumb area was, um, yeah, screaming. Yep, definitely more active. So they may expand the area. We're going to keep an eye on this. Um, like I said, they don't want people burned by the hot fluids coming up. Yeah. Yeah, 2018 and 2019, there was a definite increase in activity back then at Yellowstone. And we got it going on now. Yeah, we'll have to keep an eye on this. So what are your thoughts? Um, please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And as always, be prepared. I've been preparing. I've been making um, oatmeal cookies, putting them in half gallon jars with oxygen absorbers so they'll keep longer and i figured oatmeal cookies some with cinnamon and then i made another batch with peanut butter several batches <laughs> i got um probably eight half gallon jars filled up with um oatmeal cookies yeah because oatmeal's really good for you um and regular oatmeal if properly stored will keep for about 30 years anyways yeah keep prepping and i'll talk to you later god bless you bye